for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality. enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin, check. It's some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, Maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deschamps. Totally the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but d -Buck. She's the one that hooked us up, got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was, he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What is he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. Fresh group. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. But no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is right now. Where do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is gonna leave his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. 
Hit the nail on the head, B. Gracias, Dios. Muy bien. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. I'm fine. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. <laughs> I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. For them, it is all mere spectacle. Please, because I am always oh, make it easy. But Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax.
Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town. I've been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how 
How's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug-free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra score line. Absorb 75% of every blow. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... How's Biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. Watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean red. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Nice talking to you. I belong to you, or rather. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. Watch 
There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip hey, about a possible you. attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right. Listen close. Uh, Mr. V. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving in that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. 
And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aimed to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is going to be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah? Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Voice versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of... A military <laughs> agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Thank you. 
door. today, friend. right now. Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem, BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. Reconsidered, huh? You know what? Maybe another time. Sure thing, stud. Knew you were just window shopping. Oh, reconsidered, huh? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. 
couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie. What a sweet little face you have. Hey. Get you something. So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Ah, What's up, TP? Days. Inevitable demise and the inevitable drink over sweet memories. Tall what makes the tall tales easier to swallow. So, what went wrong? Tiger Claws shot up Lizzie. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. The design stayed up, out of respect. The biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? The big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture. Truly. But afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite, actually. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How do you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Mind if we talk about the job? Heard you got something for me. Mm. But not here. Come with me. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a whole girl like me do for us? Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. V? I'm good at what I do. Got a solid crew on my back, too. Never once botched a job. You do realize I expect more of you than... Not much. ...scraping street corner data terms. Much, much more. I'm the best. And I know what I'm getting into. Dex was clear. The job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? You and Dex?
Just started working with them, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet... It's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling yeah. virtual tits. I said I'd come jacking off to in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. 
You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back. Uh-uh. Uh no. Years. No, 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 no. Oh, I do not want to hear it. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Doesn't make me barf. <laughs> Compiled your BD yet? What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? I think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Righto. Sit down. Settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingle. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where can we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearing. Then we'll jump into editing. Be diving in in three, two, one.
plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Flash of intense shock. I can still feel it. I remember. Fuck that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up. Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control and analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. You can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing off. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Shut Roll up. it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. 
This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of cigs, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and no, Surf and everybody! So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw, stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh, hella nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, where I will fucking drop you. Now, before I fuck it up. See that? They shot him and he never saw it come. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. 
Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll die. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kanpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kanpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick temp ice and... We're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh... make yourself comfortable. I need Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. We shall see soon enough. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to finish. We shall see soon enough. Look, 
I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks My father's involved. attired. Visual as old Greybeard, who thinks nothing will change, and he'll live forever in his tiny, frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Notice. provide them. Enough. Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Candy left. Step was pretty fun last time. Bedroom. Night step. I've got an idea. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where you are know who's keeping the chip.
Got it. Any candy left? Steps. Kylie and I can... Candy left? Step was pretty. Oh, the last time. Yes. Yes. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Temp matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy-ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. The heat sig matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. 
I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please, no shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kompeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. Agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town, but my offer is the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How are things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Of course! You can count on me. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her match and a flathead. No, don't think. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that chip without that bot. To work then, Mr. V.